So I had an opportunity to check out Channel Advisor. Uh, again, like many of these platforms out there, they help you manage your e-commerce business by helping you consolidate all the different third-party software that you need to run a successful e-commerce business all into one singular platform, one singular management portal. Okay. Um, Unlike some of the other platforms out there, uh, there is there was no trial, and as this uh, at this point in the recording that I'm recording this, there still isn't a trial available, and so what you had to do is request a demo. And the reason why, after going through the demo, why they did that, and I could see why having a trial do-it-yourself version really doesn't work, is because first and foremost the the, the they've been around a long time and the platform is super robust super modular it is not for someone who is just starting out so it's not the cheapest platform out there that being said for anybody who is serious about growing their e-commerce business and and basically working the operations to a point where they're spending most of the time doing what they are good at versus handling the operations and the fulfillment and just all the necessary back-end work with inventory and updating inventory and, and, and communicating it to all the different um, platforms out there that are selling your products and, and making sure like everything is synced up. For someone who is seeing their business grow in that direction, Channel Advisor is definitely something that you want to explore. What's cool is when you request a demo, there's about kind of a week or two of back and forth where they're gathering information from you about your business so that the demo is not a super, super generic demo, but rather a very custom, uh, customized demo with actual data that you can in, then envision and see what's possible for your business by using Channel Advisor. So it's super cool. Um, the guys that you will, you'll see in the recording of the demo that's following this, the guys who helped, uh, and their names were uh, Brent and Justin, they are very knowledgeable, very passionate about all this and super excited to help anybody do that. Now, for the sake of this review, uh, the back end demo was not for any of my businesses, but rather more of a top down view so that it, be, it creates, it gives you an opportunity to kind of see what the back end looks like. So that'll be helpful in helping you determine whether or not you even want to request a demo. So go ahead and check out the recording which is following this introduction and um, hope you enjoy the review. Let's see, hopefully that's showing yep. that on your potential side, excellent. So I know one of the things that you mentioned, uh, you know, customer service is critical uh, for you mm -hmm. all as you consider different vendors and providers. Uh, so I want to actually let's see if I can move this in the way that it's for me. Uh, so these are just sort of some of our launch options, a little cart before the horse, but I wanted to speak to it just up at the top of the call because it kind of didn't fit uh, until otherwise later. Right. Uh, so you're seeing 95% CSAT, so we really, we crush it. Uh, our launch teams are great. I actually just went through a launch uh, with a recent customer who signed on, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it can feel a little slow at times, uh, but they're able to, you know, kind of scale that up to meet your pace. Uh, this customer actually needs it to be a little slower uh, mm -hmm. just because of some of the folks who are on the team need a little more hand-holding, uh, but that, the teams on our side can kind of uh, energy match you and, and they'll pick up pretty quickly on your level of proficiency. Uh, so they're able to help, obviously, with all of these elements of your uh, you know, selling and fulfillment process. And this is just a quick overview of this launch assist is kind of the bare minimum that I would recommend, uh, but it's a strong option. And you're talking, you know, a couple couple thousand dollars, uh, depending on you can package them together. So if you want to launch, let's say, Walmart, eBay, Rakuten, just to say, you know, have a few examples, it would be 1875 for the first one and then a thousand bucks for each additional marketplace as long as you contract them together. So some efficiencies there. Uh, and then similar for the advantage or complete, this starts to get to more white glove here on the top end with complete and launch. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's your launch assist, typically going live within 21 days. Uh, starting that, that does also imply uh, some homework on your end, right? So those launch managers will give 
homework essentially to the customer, hey, I need 30 to 50 listings that we're going to get started, you know, inputting into the platform. Right. So you're then responsible to kind of hold your end and, and do whatever list is required to prepare for that weekly call. Uh, and that's then an hour-long call, which is kind of uh, teach folks to fish during those those conversations, right? right. So teaching you how to, how to use the platform uh, by helping you set up your first marketplace. Mm -hmm. uh, so kind of not wasting any motion, just getting right into to launching on a marketplace. Uh, and I'll provide this deck that goes into more detail about some of these more advanced options uh, after the call as well. Right. Uh, but just wanted to kind of share that here at the top because I know that you said that was uh, important. You know, yeah. Now, what 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 would you who would you recommend would be the ones who are best the people who are working the platform on a daily basis or would it be all all the uh, the entire team who should be on those uh, onboarding calls? So I think we would pick and choose. Um, we would want to have at least one of the early calls, maybe a kickoff call with a broad team, okay. just to make sure everybody's kind of starting on the same page. Again, right, uh, <laughs> won't be much of a surprise. We record all those calls as well, so the yeah. assets are there after the fact. But just having everybody, you know, engaged uh, and able to ask questions early on, that's definitely my preference because I think you get everybody's just got a, a more cohesive uh, sense of the big picture as well sure. as kind of a drill down into the details. And then mm -hmm. at some point it's going to be more, uh, you mentioned one of your colleagues who's kind of more day-to-day hands-on e-commerce, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, doing some of that lift. That person <laughs> for sure we're going to want on those calls. They're probably uh, who's running yeah. Anchor there, not you. Uh, and then again, right, it makes sense kind of my uh, – my training on passing the bus test, right? It would be better to have maybe both of you, but if you can't sure. spare the cycle, you know, you can always kind of catch up on the recordings uh, or just sync up with your colleague and gotcha. kind of get the, the uh, over under after the fact. So, okay. um, all right, cool. So now that we got that out of the way. Uh, I want Quick, quickly, I do want to add in though. So after you go through launch, you guys are on the marketplaces, you will have access to. Um, channel advisor support number one, so you have a support mm -hmm. number, you have an account manager that you can email questions to mm -hmm. as well as support. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, you'll see with the platform we have built-in support as well um, and our whole community set of pages, which is everything that's happening, instructions on how to do things. So you're never going to be left not having a resource. Got it. Okay, that's good to know. Cool. Uh, so Brent's going to actually walk us through the platform, but while he's getting that fired up, I wanted to, as I mentioned kind of before we started the recording, I just wanted to run down uh, the elements that I had taken from our last conversation, but if there's stuff here missing, feel free to backfill and kind of point me in the right direction. We'll make sure to cover uh, anything and everything. Okay. So uh, you mentioned a better understanding of the demographics and buying behavior. Certainly buying behaviors uh, are part of what's captured in some of the dashboards and readouts that the system provides. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll, we're going to stay pretty high level here. Again, a little bit of an exception in your case because there's some, uh, you know, we, we don't have, for example, your Amazon storefronts, your eBay, PID, and all that kind of stuff to be able right. to dig in and make it more context appropriate. So bear with us while this is sort of a higher level overview demo, uh, but know that there's more in the tank once we sure. kind of deepen the conversation and, and can get a little bit more mm -hmm. precise and specific to your specific use cases. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, the centralized system, you know, from whence to manage e-commerce, that is, that is it. <laughs> the second thing I've got on my notes from our call, that's our bread and butter. That's where Channel Advisor shines. Uh, you know, the, uh, all of the value propositions around task switching, um, mm -hmm. hold, you know, you get more efficient time spend if you're able to stay in one interface and manage everything from one centralized console right. uh, as opposed to what it sounds like is going on in current state. And forgive me if I'm misreading or, or mischaracterizing, but it's typical for folks to have to pull down spreadsheets and have, you know, yep. 35 tabs open because yep. you're signed in different thing and you're pulling the data out, pushing it into a sheet, merging it with other data, massaging the data, yep. then, you know, driving some output to provide some insight from that data as opposed to having just a SaaS platform that's going to 
house all that data and give you the insights in a, in a more intuitive and, and kind of easy fashion with certainly a lot less um, manual touching of any of that data. So yep. that's that box checked uh, better than anybody else in the industry. We serve more of the internet retail top 1,000. I think at latest count we're 137 of those folks, so almost 14% of the internet retail top 1,000, meaning the you know companies that are selling the most online. Um, so we scale all the way from mom and pop all the way up to those large you know IR 1,000 customers. Um, also, you were looking for more efficient inventory management. Um, and insights around SKU velocity to avoid over and under selling. That's all part and parcel within the platform. We have uh, some tools called, one of the tools is an inventory juggler. So that's juggling basically your inventory uh, across your omni-channel presence. So if you've got you know, inventory at eBay, uh, and you've got inventory at Amazon, and you've got inventory in a couple few of your own warehouses, then it's going to juggle that to optimize and prevent selling through so that you don't get dinged on any of those platforms like Amazon, where that's obviously uh, a big no-no. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, there's a whole uh, suite of repricing tools as well. While, um, while we're thinking about velocity, there's a... Uh, um, a velocity repricer as well. So if you're seeing really fast, you know, really high velocity on a particular SKU, might be an opportunity to harvest some more margin there by using some, you know, that velocity repricer to, to change the pricing. Uh, also, just to slow it down if you feel like you're in, at risk of selling through before you can get a re-inventory re-up on a particular channel. Uh, again, we won't go deep, but we'll at least touch on that stuff here in the product demo a little bit. Okay. Um, I do want to follow up with you. You said you're very KPI focused. Uh, I'll, we'll put a pin in this for now, but I, I'd like to know a little bit more about you know which KPIs. And you did send through. Thank you for that uh, email. I know you, you outlined a few of those, so we'll mm -hmm. kind of pull that back in scope uh, towards the end of the call here if we've got the time. Otherwise, we can either take that offline or into the next kind of demo conversation. Um, you also mentioned like employees, your employees, your teammates being able to focus more on the human activity versus mm -hmm. things that kind of can and should be automated and systematized. That is music to my ears. That's right. a big part of why I'm here and why I do what I do. I love, I'm passionate about tools that help us be more efficient and more effective and more human. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's do exactly, the yeah. things that we should be doing and, you know, outsource is not the right word, but uh, delegate is maybe the right word. The, mm -hmm. the functions that are manual, tactical, you know, prone to human error, give that to a machine. You know, right. there, there's a lot that these platforms can do now. And, and again, uh, I don't want to steal Brent's thunder. Uh, I'll let him show you a little bit of, of what the platform's got in store for you, but um, I think you're going to be, I think you're going to be happy with it. Uh, and then that last element was just you're doing roughly 30 to 50k a month in the current state, and the goal is to double that revenue number. I don't know if that's uh, this year, kind of what time frame besides ASAP. <laughs> yeah. Before we jump into the actual demo, was there anything overall question-wise or something that's been concerning you that we can kind of uh, address before we go into that? Because I know sometimes there's a head scratcher or something just pops in your head. So anything we can answer for you right now before we get into this? No, so far so good. I mean, it's obvious you guys have been doing this. You've probably encountered a whole variety of different scenarios. And so, so far it's been pretty thorough. Uh, more so, I got to tell you right now, than some of the other platforms that I've had live interactions with. Some of them I haven't. It's just, you know, because just the nature of how they're set up. So, um, so far so good. Well, what's been, what's been, if you don't mind me asking, what, what's been the frustration you've, you've come across with some of these other platforms? Um, it, well, it's, a, it's, it's not so much a frustration, but it's an understanding of the trade-off. For example, um, <clears throat> there are a lot of platforms out there, you just have a demo. You don't actually have a live interaction, and I get it. And that's a part of the cost of it, right? And so you just work within the constructs of what they provide, and, and you... And you you change your workflow to match how their UI is set up and how their workflow is set up. Um, and I get it, you know, so it's not so much a frustration per se, it's just, is it a fit for what we're looking for? Um, and then, you know, the few that I've been able to have live interactions with, um, some of them were, were, were rather vague, you know, in terms of, 
you know, they weren't willing to share for some reason um, huh. until we like commit to a trial month. I'm like going, no, no, no. I mean, this is a big commitment for us because if we have to change our workflow to match your platform, that's a that's a bigger undertaking than just having a platform that can relatively match how we are doing things so that we can slowly move to a more efficient workflow without having to jar the whole system currently, you know? Yeah, that totally makes sense. And another thing to consider, I'm sure this has occurred to you, but replatforming is no fun either, right? <laughs> so no. a platform that's going to take you down the road six months is almost worse than a platform that you reject out of hand. <laughs> Just move on. Right, right, right. And so, you know, and that's why this this process has taken as long as it has. Uh, just because we know that, and which we've done before, we've switched uh, to archaic platforms to another archaic platform, but then it required us to complete. It's like we started a whole new business. It's like, oh. yeah. yeah, right. So, okay. So, key key piece of that is um, on what you took, spoke about is number one. We want to help you remove yourself from as many of those third-party platforms as possible. Obviously, mm -hmm. you can see the cost savings there because right. of that. Um, the complexity obviously reduces, and then it comes into the, the key piece that, that will also be a huge benefit, which is um, I would call it condensing those workflows. Mm -hmm. So, again, you probably had 10 steps to do one thing. Think about channel advisors making those basically one to three steps. Maybe, right. depending on what you're doing. Okay, all right, so um, uh, you can see the channel advisor platform graphic in front of you. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is usually where I like to start because you get a visual idea of our platform in the middle and basically what's going to happen on the left side to where you're going to get to be uh, per your decision and all the utility and functionality that's built into the Channel Advisor platform. So um, obviously key piece is, is getting our information in from you and, and you're not using anything like a re enterprise resource planning system, you know, for, you know, products being manufactured. You guys are just doing a manual process right now mm -hmm. on getting inventory into marketplaces. Right. Okay. All right, so um, we offer a couple uh, easy steps for you to get that information into Channel Advisor. Uh, key piece here is we, at the launch process, we're going for once and done, which is all your SKUs, all your key inventory, we want to get in there uh, first time so we can get everything optimized. And then from there, if you decide to go back and do whatever tweaks or you know, just keep updating inventory through a spreadsheet, you can do that. And getting that information in, we, we give you a couple of different ways. Um, one is a manual import process mm -hmm. where you can just basically through your flat file um, up, update that and import it into the platform. So, you know, per launch when you're done, you want to make some changes to edits, titles, or whatever, um, or even just the inventory piece. Uh, you can just manually import that in the Channel Advisor. It will update your catalog, and then it'll update your marketplaces. Uh, we also offer an FTP option, which will relate to you, which is basically you're assigning a task to somebody on your team, which is, okay, you're responsible for the spreadsheet for these products. You update it this week. That person updates it the other. They can drop it onto our secure FTP site, and then mm -hmm. our platform will pick it up and auto-import it. Okay, cool. And, that's, and then from there, um, obviously, it's uh, the, the, the automation and optimization piece, which is uh, when we talk about optimize, it's, it's titling and everything else is going to relate to selling your products and how they show up on the marketplaces. Um, the automate piece was when you make those changes, uh, you can specify how many marketplaces you want those changes to go to. And then from there, it gets into your marketplaces, as you see here. Um, uh, if you ever decide to go first party, we have a list of options there, as Justin probably told you about. Um, we have digital marketing inbuilt into the platform, uh, but we also have amazing services teams that work with each of those marketplaces on a daily basis. So. 
um, if you ever come to the point where it's like, listen, we need more of a push than what we're doing on digital marketing, uh -huh. hey, Justin, will you get us a three- or six-month program with channel advisors, uh, you know, digital marketing teams, our services teams, you will be educated through that process as you will be through uh, the launch process, which is this is how everything is working on each of those marketplaces that you want to market on. Um, this is why we changed titling like this. This is why we, we added keywords. This is what's coming back from the marketplace on, on what's going to be the best response now. So, you know, you're paying for the help, number one, but you're really getting the expertise and the information that's coming out of it. And same thing, they will record sessions that you can use for continuous training with your teams. Hmm. Okay. So, and I mentioned this, I think, on our initial conversation. Uh, essentially, those folks are kind of like super users that you plug into your team uh, if and when you need them. It's kind of a buffet style. You know, you need some services help. We write up a contract, figure out the scope, write up the contract, uh -huh. and plug you into that team, and then they can provide your staff Essentially, it's like a, you know, a super user joining your team, teaching the skills, and rolling off once you give them the okay. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Now, on to the platform again, because I want you to have the visual here of the information coming in and then what's going to happen to it. <laughs> um, Channel Advisor, as you know, we're web-based, so you can access us anywhere, anytime. We have a 99.6% up rate. Mm-hmm. Okay, for the platform, so that means we are never down, which means that you never have to sleep. You can work every single minute of every day if you oh, want. Oh, perfect. Um, <laughs> like there's going to be tumblers when it's coming in. You're going to need a lot of coffee. <laughs> right, so every one of those commercials during the Super Bowl, you can be like, hey, let's go check out how we're doing. Um, but, okay, so when you log into our platform, first thing you're going to do is land in our dashboard page here. Uh -huh. um, so this page to me is unbelievably important because it's a visual representation of every SKU that you're selling across, every marketplace. Um, it's going to allow you to determine strategy on what you're selling, how you're selling it. Um, you're going to get information um, from, uh, you know, which ASINs you're competing against if you decide that you want to start reselling, map pricing, um, as you can see here, uh, you know, we, we have widgets and, and there's, and I'll show you here, we have over 116 widgets uh, through varying marketplaces as well as varying functions. Um, I think the predictive analytics is key here. Right. Uh, and that's where you can show our demand forecaster, uh, which I'll show you that quickly as well, what that's going to do for you. Um, but you can see all the specifics down there. Product trackers, uh, you know, what's our coverage summary? Uh, are we looking for var variations from our manufacturing price? Uh -huh. uh, you know, you, if you decide in some future time that you want to use our where to buy option, because again, you decide to sell out to maybe some wholesalers or retailers. Uh, you know, we can help you pinpoint how the, to get your customers over to them. Um, and then there's general account widgets. I think the theme, you know, while Brent's pulling up the next piece, uh, the theme there, right, is the customer journey, taking the friction out, making it as easy as possible for them to buy the, the product. Uh -huh. uh, and so part of what that looks like in that the where to buy online is instead of just saying, oh, we sell at uh, Walgreens, go find us at Walgreens. Well, that's pretty lame. Right. Uh, from a consumer perspective, that is garbage uh, versus, oh, here, punch in your zip code. Uh, okay, here are the three retailers closest to you that have that item in stock. Which one do you want? I want number two. Cool. Click on number two. It sends you to that vendor's site with the cart pre-populated with that SKU, mm. taking all of that friction out of the customer journey. So it's a click, click, buy, right? Oh, that's good. Yeah. So that, that's a separate where to buy offering, but we'll food for thought later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So as I was saying, you have 116 widgets that you can add into this primary dashboard. Mm -hmm. um, you also have different dashboards 
for every marketplace. Justin mentioned um, the marketplaces you're interested in, in generally selling on, so I added them up here. But each of these will have a dashboard option and it will look very similar to this, but this, the widgets will be specific to those marketplaces. Gotcha. Okay. In here, you can, uh, as it's analytics, uh, you have the option to look at date ranges. We have some pre built in here 7, 30, 90. Select them. This will update. You, just, you have the option to move widgets around. Some of these widgets, like this one, you can actually download the report that's on here. Uh -huh. Okay, you can look at different accounts. So if you guys decide to sell, um, you know, Amazon in another country, you'll see that listed here. Australia, um, France, New Zealand, you can make those selections. You will see that data come up. You have the option here of adding and removing marketplaces that you're selling on to so look at that analytic data. Um, everything's pretty much a rollover. As you can see here, most of them are click into as well, so you can deep dive down a little bit further. Um, you can also do customized reporting as well, so set them to your different teams, email reports on specific topics. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything uh, I can answer for you on the dashboards? No, I love how it's, how it's uh, modularly customizable, which is great. I mean, and depending on who logs in, can they set up their own dashboard configuration or is it once you set it up like depending on the different users and everything like that it's all the same absolutely so you can come in and you see here in the accounts and i get the drop down you can create individual user accounts and you can create groups so okay. say you have somebody handling your warehouse you can go add them into a warehouse group with those permissions when they log in the channel advisor, they will only be able to work in and really view, um, you know, the, the channel advisor fulfillment services. Got it. So they can do pick lists, pack lists, uh, labeling, whatever you want to do. But yes, you can. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right. Now your data gets into channel advisor. You go through launch. All of that information is going to be sitting here in the product catalog, which call it your global catalog. Mm-hmm. Okay, so every, every SKU, every product. Um, we designed it to look a lot like uh, Seller Central, so you guys are used to being in there, so this will be right. a very familiar layout. Again, um, you have analytics in front of you, uh, what are your current quantity totals. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also update your quantity totals in here as well. Um, you know, quantity pending payment, um, you know, what you're listing as a buy it now price, uh, we give you a quick option here as well, well except for the slow loading. Um, that would let you modify titles as well. You can select particular SKUs if you want, export them out, okay. and specifically on what you're looking for. Um, you can create an individual new SKU as well manually. Uh, now, with your product, I don't know if you, you normally do it or not, but do you guys ever offer package deals or bundle your products together uh, to help increase sales? Yeah, occasionally what we'll do is depending on the season and depending on what's going on, we, we will do that. Okay. Um, so in here you can see uh, we offer a bundling option. We do it off of a primary SKU. Uh, and what that lets you do is you have a bundle SKU, which is going to be added in which those particular items you want to sell. Um, you sell those items individually as well if you choose. And say if one of these items uh, went out of uh, quantity, so you went to a zero, uh, but the other one didn't, that's in the bundle. The bundle SKU will drop, this other SKU will drop, and this SKU will still sell. Mm. Okay. Uh, quickly, we have Demand Forecaster. Again, this is going to be a key tool because marketplaces frown when you run out of inventory right. as much as they do on titling and everything else. Right. So this dashboard here will give you the means to see um, how much your inventory you're going to need on those marketplaces per SKU over a 30, 60, 90 day period of time. Mm, okay, and this is based on past performance, right? Right, correct. So uh, we have different versions of the man forecaster, but uh, you're gonna be really looking 30 to 60 days to get the analytics in here sure. to give you better predictions longer than here, the long, you know, the more accurate we're gonna be for you. Right. Okay, next piece is selling. So, uh, a, a, 
you know, we have everything in the catalog. You have it the way you want it to be. Uh, we need to get it up on the marketplaces. We do that with a feature called templates. Okay? And I'll show you a couple of them here. But I also want to show you the summary dashboard on this page so you can see what that's like. Uh, so in this case, um, this template's for Rakuten. Mm -hmm. Great site to sell on, as you're aware. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, tens of millions of users per day run through there. But yeah. uh, what we're doing here is uh, we give you a, a basically the attributes that that marketplace is requiring from you to sell your items. So on the left side here, you can see the general category mm -hmm. that matches up on the left, and you can see whatever required, conditional, recommended. On our right side here, uh, how this works is like a category ID. Um, we map those out so to a particular attribute within Channel Advisor. So in Channel Advisor, you know, we, you can see here we have a category attribute which will one-to-one -one match the category ID required by Rakuten. Mm. We also give you the option to preview your SKUs. So once these templates are all mapped here, you can actually select a SKU and it'll compare and show you if there's any particular errors. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, next, let's quickly go into fulfillment. Um, this is, again, inbuilt into the platform. It's readily available for you. Um, and, <laughs> again, um, it's everything for managing your orders, uh, those shipments. Um, if you want to, you can, you can also manage refunds through here, your purchase orders, uh, you know, full functionality. Nice. Okay, next piece of there is, as I mentioned earlier, is we have inbuilt mar digital marketing for you. Hmm. And you can see we have it done by partners. So you can do all of your Amazon advertising, uh, wow. Facebook ads, which I highly recommend. Facebook gets huge turnaround. Most people sell on Amazon, only focus on Amazon, and they miss the key piece of success in advertising, which is getting on Facebook as well. Um, hmm. Right, there's your Google Ads piece, Bing Ads, as well as eBay promoted listings. Okay, wow. and then as I talked about, there is help readily available. If you click the Channel Advisor logo here, it's inbuilt. It will first advise you on the page that you're on, and then you can go into help itself, put in a topic, and if yours is just going to be marketing, and I could actually spell. All right, it'll bring you this list. When you click into here, it will bring you into the Channel Advisor community that I spoke about before. Uh -huh. yeah. The self-service tier is kind of the, the low, lowest tier of service, meaning there is precious little, uh, and most of it is handled through, you know, ticket support systems uh, right. and these, the community site. Self-service plus would be kind of the next step up from there, which would get you, you know, a bucket of hours essentially to use for call support uh, uh -huh. and some extended, you know, one-on-one -on -one type time. So I would recommend <clears throat> starting maybe one service level tier above where you want to wind up for starters right. and then potentially scaling back so that you get a really strong start, especially if you've got aggressive, you know, growth goals for this year. Right. right. And, and I understand Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no. And, and, and you guys will be sending over, like, the breakdown of all the different tiers, right? Uh, that... So I can send across, yeah, a summary of the different tiers of service and what all is entailed. The pricing we don't deal with until we better understand the full scope of exactly, you know, both your, sure. your current AMV totals, what's running through the platform, uh, and kind of what the plan is so that we can give you a little bit of wiggle room. But I think I mentioned, uh, and if I didn't, then forgive me, uh, mea culpa, <laughs> on the first call, uh -huh. uh, we do sort of a GMV tier is what we call it. So, like, that's, you know, the volume of sales that you're running essentially right. that are going through Channel Advisor. Uh, we give you kind of an annual bucket typically to hit that number with a little bit of room there. And then let's say uh, if you're you're doing 50K a month, uh, we might put you in a 700K tier to give you some room to grow before you start uh, paying what it, we call the share percentage. So over 
if we're growing you, you know, above your goal, then theoretically you won't mind, you know, sharing one or two percentage points uh, on just those dollars that are above that bucket, if that makes sense. So if you're, let's say you're at 600 today, uh -huh. we're going to give you a 700 bucket, you pay on $701, that $1 revenue you pay maybe, you know, one or two cents on that dollar and, and the dollars that come after. And then on an annual basis, we revisit that bucket uh, and, and make changes to suit, you know, your, your growth trajectory, if that makes right. sense. So given that, cool. so this is how I can, at least I can present a little bit of ballpark. If we because we're we're at that you know uh, we're in that bucket it sounds like of the 700k currently so if we were to just maintain that bucket what would be some of like the ballpark um, cost of the annual and then and then of course you know if it's one or two percent per uh, based on volume over that 700,000 bucket what what would that look like from an annual basis and then well obviously calculating the over Sure. My, I don't want to answer it on one foot and give you a bad answer. Let me, I'll take that as a follow-up from the call, and I'll include it in the email with the okay. attachments, if that's okay by you. Uh, I just want to give you something that I can stick to instead of, you know, if I miss it, either high or low. Uh, that's not Well, a, I not mean, ballpark low. range is fine. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'll even say it on the record, I'm not holding you to it. It just gives me something that I can use to sell to the team, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, no, I understand. And I'll, I'll get you pretty close in that email. Okay, great. Perfect. In regards to the demo, is this something where you might want to bring a couple of your team members on the phone for a follow-up call and I can do more in-depth and show you more of the details? I mean, our platform is unbelievably feature-rich and I yeah. went, you know, 100,000 feet up here. Um, but, it, you know, I want to, you know, you're selling this to your team, so I want to make sure that, that they're comfortable and have the confidence in the platform that y'all are trying or wanting to use. Yeah. No, I mean, this is this is exactly what I needed to kind of open up that conversation so that once they take a look, they can see just how robust this is. I mean, just the marketing piece alone, which is I'm which I'm a I'm a big proponent of is that every business, if you don't have marketing, then I don't know what you're doing. But um, but having that <laughs> you'd be surprised. Right. I mean, it's like, oh, the field, the field of dreams of both build it and they will come. No. Um, <laughs> So, um, but the marketing, yeah, the marketing piece that built in and just being able to do, it's not even a watered down version, right? You're doing, ex you're, it's like the interface is exactly what you'll see on each of those platforms and the marketing platforms, right? So just having, not having to, again, open multiple windows, just being able to do that from this one interface from anywhere is, is a huge thing. I mean, I didn't, I didn't realize it was that, um, What's the word? I mean, because usually when it happens, yeah, yeah. Well, from the marketing standpoint, being able to access like Facebook marketing and Facebook ads and Google ads and everything, usually what happens is people run um, their own UI over the API. And, and so that you don't get the exact same feel and, and experience that you would if you were actually on Amazon platform or on Facebook ads, right? So like if we, if we can see like the Facebook ad console, um, cause that's always an, an, an interesting thing. So if it looks at least close to what you're seeing on the console, I mean, maybe it's exactly what it is, but I don't know. I mean, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> right. Yeah. Drum roll, please. Right. Yeah. So understand this is a demo account. We don't always have information in all the areas. No, no, that's should. fine. But, but in here you can, as you can see, you can click add new campaign. Uh, right. Well, that's great. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> right, but right, right. Let me take you back to the Amazon side. So you can see here with Amazon Marketplace right. ads, they obviously dump more into our demo account with Amazon sure. because that's where everybody wants to be. But you can see here you can compare products, dress right. shoes, T-shirts, say that was your business. Um, you know, looking at average cost of sale, so you can see how you're doing that per day, per week, per month. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, look, total spend, here you went out of budget, here you went out of budget. So now you can see a little bit more on your planning side of, all right, if I'm running this program, what I'm going to run it on, and I know my budgeting isn't going to be enough to get me the actual return on sales. Right. Um, 
you know, I'll take you quickly into the ad console, and you're okay for a couple of minutes, right? I think you were overstood the mark here, so I don't, <laughs> don't want to take okay. more cycles. I think we're over a few minutes, uh, so I appreciate you you staying on for, for these few. Does it make sense for us to put something on the calendar next week to try to do a demo with some more of your team, or what do you what do you see as a path forward that makes sense? Yeah, so let me get what we've got right here um, in terms of the recording and everything. And yep. I want to make sure that if we keep going down the the channel advisor, I'm not. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to waste anybody else's time because if my team goes no. You know, for whatever reason, I don't know. Right, <laughs> right. Um, you want to say yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, because already I can tell. I mean, just from the engagement and the and the and the, the ease in terms of being able to communicate and get information, um, that alone is huge for me. And I, it's not just me, unfortunately. So. Um, but I, but I love you taking the time to show the the marketing piece because I'm always big on like, hey, can we do that all in the same 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 platform? And because we can, and it's so funny, Brent, that you're talking about Facebook ads is great, but we have no th nothing there to show. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Thank you. That's a, this, welcome to my pain. Um, what I, but what I can do is um, I can provide screenshots. Uh, I will have to obviously whitewash some of them from sure, others. No, that's fine. Um, right, exactly. So you can see what other competitors might, you know, look like, but at least they'll give you more of a visual. Yep. So I can do it that way for you. So anything you want to see screenshots on, let me know. As I said, we can jump back on the demo with the rest of the team. Yep. Um, you know, uh, again, I kind of want to show them how when you make the, an edit within the catalog, how it'll immediately uplist how you can look at an actual listing after it's up and what it looks like so you can go back and modify, you know, the SKU as needed. So, Got it. Um, yeah, again, just ask any question. We are forthcoming 100% with information. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, send send me, um, you know, the recording and everything that you can. And so that way it's gonna give, I'm going to take a couple days to kind of package it so that way it presents smoothly. <laughs> um, yep. and then, uh, I will update regardless, no matter what direction or whatever they say, I will update and, and, and let you guys know what they come back with, you know? So Sounds great. But, I appreciate it. Appreciate your time today. Again, obviously only able to show you kind of a, a touch of the platform. But no, this not, is great. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, just being able to see what's going on in the back end that you can't see in the front end because that's that's huge um and just being just just like the level of confidence and delivery in terms of what you guys are talking about and how how passionate you guys are especially brent you know having been a customer and now you actually work for them which is a testament to your belief in the, the platform <laughs> Oh you know, my God! So. If I would have had these digital marketing pieces back then, like, oh my God! <laughs> would you be working? Yeah, would exactly. you be working at Channel Advisors right now? <laughs> oh God! I mean, it's just like the little features, and they're always updating the platform. Like you don't realize it, but there's multiple updates per day, if not per week, on yeah. feature sets. Nice. Every time we find out from our partnerships that A, B, or C is going on there, we update our feature set. And then we also want to hear from you. It's, okay, well, I wish we could do a little bit more of this. Mm -hmm. Can you make that happen? You, you, you contact Justin and I. We will put in your feature request. You know, obviously, if it comes from you written up and why you need it and why it's so important, they, they're more intent on jumping on it. Right. But they know everything that comes from you leads back to our success as well as yours because we're tied together. Right. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I already know, or there's a few people of my peers and colleagues and clients that I have uh, in my other businesses that I can already think about referring to have, you know, to go through a demo with you guys with their businesses. So this is, this is, this is really, this is really good. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. And, and also big thanks to Brent for, for carving out some time to do this today. Yeah, uh, appreciate without that. him, that demo doesn't shine and certainly probably goes another hour or so if I'm <laughs> 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 So yeah. thank you for carving out the time way. We'll, we'll get those follow-ups to you. Uh, awesome. Like Brent said, don't hesitate to follow up with us and say, hey, you know, I got a gap here and here. What happened to this attachment? Whatever, if I forget something. Uh, and and we'll uh, stay with you through next week and figure out what the next steps look like. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you as well. Have a great afternoon. Okay, you too.